Despite being over a decade old at this point, Skyrim remains the pinnacle of Bethesda's output as a top-tier video game developer. Which is kind of sad when you think about it. It's the type of game that I could come back to over and over and over again. But at this point, I'm kind of sick of playing my usual way of just being a stealthy archer who shoots Nords in the back of the head with an arrow. I need to play this game a whole new way. And that's why I tried my hand at going through Skyrim completely unarmed using only my fists. You wouldn't think so, but punching everything in the game surprisingly works pretty well. So let me share with you the best method for being a Dragonborn boxer. First off, when you're creating your new character, you're going to want to be a Khajiit. The Khajiit are the only race that gets any sort of buff to unarmed combat with a plus 15 bonus. So you get that extra damage and you get to run around Skyrim as a cat person. And who doesn't want to do that? Now a plus 15 bonus is good and all, but we're going to need more than that to fist fight a dragon. The skill you're going to want to spend most of your time leveling up is heavy armor. Unfortunately, there isn't any kind of unarmed skill tree in Skyrim, but the heavy armor skill does have a perk called Fists of Steel, which adds the armor rating of any heavy armor gauntlets that you're wearing to your unarmed damage. Now, this might take a bit of time to unlock since your heavy armor skill needs to hit 30 before you get this perk. But you can speed this process up by heading over to Jarvaskar in Whiterun and joining the Companions. By doing so, you get access to an NPC named Farkas, who you can then pay to train up your heavy armor wearing abilities. Another way to boost the destructivity of your punches is by imbuing your gauntlets with the Fortify Unarmed Enchantment. The only place you can find this without fooling around in the game's files is in Riften. Once there, you need to go into their sewer system called the Ratway, and down there, you'll find a burly man by the name of Jean the Fist. Destroy him in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and you'll receive his Gloves of the Pugilist. Then you can either throw those bad boys on to get that Fortify Unarmed Enchantment, or disenchant them at a table and slap that enchantment on a pair of gauntlets of your choice. After you've done all this, all you need is some good armor, maybe some Daedric armor, and you're ready to conquer the world with just your bare hands. Or in this case, your cat hands. Now, unfortunately, in my experience, it seems like you can't quite go through the entire game completely unarmed. You'll want to carry around a ranged weapon or learn some destruction spells to take care of distant enemies. And arming yourself with a shield can be a good way to survive some up-close battles. Also, if you're on PC, there are some mods that will expand what you can do with your fists. But despite all those caveats, for the most part, unarmed combat is quite viable as a way to get through Skyrim. And best of all, and I had no idea about this when I started making this video, this game has specific animations for when you kill enemies without weapons, and they look like something out of a WWE game. So yeah, if you follow these steps, you'll be able to punch your way through Skyrim too. And hell, if you are on PC, why not just mod your game, make your character look like John Cena, and then you could go battle those Macho Man Randy Savage dragons up close and personal with just your bare knuckles. For more wacky ideas on how to play through your favorite games, be sure to check out thegamer.com. I'm Jamie Latour, and we'll see you next time.